Emily and as you can tell from the title of this video I have hopped on the bandwagon and decided to declutter my closet all of my many many clothes so before I get into this video I just want to point out a couple of things first of all yes this is my new self quarantined uniform a comfy shirt leggings and my wonderful house shoes that only get changed whenever I go outside to take Bucky for a walk which is Literally the only time I get outside these days, but it is what it is, right? And at least I'm staying safe and healthy. Secondly, um, please do not judge the state of my closet. It is a disaster because one of the clothing racks like on the wall actually fell down and I just really haven't had the chance to fix it. Um, by chance, I mean the desire and um, will to actually fix it. But today I do, because I'm forcing myself to do it by making this decluttering video. So I'm going to get rid of some of my clothes, clean up my nice closet, and, you know, hopefully feel better about the clothes I have. And lastly, <laughs> lastly, I know I have more clothes than any one person could ever possibly need. I'm incredibly lucky and blessed. That have to have people that um, you know regularly really purchase clothes for me think of me and say hey I think she would really like this outfit so I am um, sentimental about clothes and I haven't really changed sizes since I was like 15 so I have a lot of clothes but I'm moving and I really don't want to move a lot of clothes with me and so I'm going to really try to get rid of a lot of clothes so I'll be um, donating some of them to my local Goodwill I will be shipping some of them off to Thread Up. I was originally going to actually donate a lot of my clothes to Thread Up before all of this happened. And uh, now, you know, seems like a pretty good time to go through my clothes and I will definitely be washing all of these before I get rid of any of them. But, um, you know, I'm gonna donate some, send some to Thread Up, maybe post some on Poshmark or Facebook Market or something like that. Um, so that's that's my plan for these clothes. Let's just get right into my disaster uh, closet for right now and I hope you enjoy this. Also, please remember if you enjoy this video or any of the content similar to this that I make, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, ring my bell, <laughs> ring my bell and um, you know hit like the all notifications so that you see whenever I upload a video. I would really appreciate that. It means the world to me and I love all of you who regularly watch my videos. So let's get into this closet. So this is the current state of my closet. And this right here, this is the rack that fell off, which is why there's not really as much stuff on it as there is on the other sides up at the top. But this is all of my clothes and this is the floor which is a disgrace because a lot of things including this like shoe holder that I have fell off of this rack like I mentioned so I need to straighten all this up I'm gonna try and get rid of some shoes too and you know just really clean this out so I think I'm going to start by just doing what everybody else seems to do in this situation and just kind of take everything out and look at it and see if I actually like the item. And if I do, then I will set it aside. I'll make sort of my piles, my get rid of, um, so like donate, sell whatever pile, my maybe pile and my certainly pile, and then we'll go from there. So I'm just going to start taking things out of my closet.
So, um, unfortunately, I'm a disgrace, and, um, all of these clothes you see here do, in fact, belong to me. And I even have clothes in here. More clothes. So, I have all of these clothes. All of these clothes. So, now we're going to start going through stuff. I think I'm going to start with, um, well, I guess I'm going to start with what's on top, huh? Yes, I'm definitely keeping this. This is just super cool and vintagey, and I just recently thrifted this really cool, like, lace cover-up thing, so for sure keeping it. Uh, maybe this is a really cute little, like, appropriate for work kind of skirt. But Bucky ate the zipper, so this could be like a, I don't know, crafting experiment to work on since I'm stuck in my house. This will be a maybe for right now, so we're just going to put maybes um, right here on the floor where all maybe things should go. I really love this shirt. I've had it a long time. Um, the reason I've kept it so long is because my husband really likes it and it's just a really nice classic flannel from American Eagle. This one's a maybe. Okay. I don't know, because these are kind of a trend right now. Like, crochet is really in. Ooh, God, I thought this was going to be easier. Maybe. <laughs> I literally wore these for my um, senior photos. And they're cute, and they're fun, and they're polka dots, which is also a trend right now. But I think I'm going to pass on these. So they're going to go in the somewhere getting rid of these file. Uh, love these shorts. Just recently got them. They're a yes. I have nowhere to put yeses. They're going on my dresser for right now if they don't already have a hanger. Ugh. Maybe. Oh no, this hanger is broken. This hanger is broken. It needs a new one. But it's a yes. I love the skirt. Ooh, these overalls are crochet. Maybe these can be my like crochet trend for the year. Ooh, yeah. Look, look at the crochet. Okay, so the pink shorts are kind of maybe on their way out. I also don't have any of these, so they're just going right there for right now. Absolutely. Yes, 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 and yes. This is my mom's from God knows how long. So, yes. Alright, I'm here by not keeping two things on a hanger any longer. So, I think I'm going to decide which of these things I like best and give the other one the boot. I love this dress that I thrift flipped, but I don't really love the color of it, so I think I'm going to add this to my um, to DIY pile because I kind of want to see if maybe I can bleach it to lighten it up a little bit. I think it's time to pass this one on. Goodbye to this dress. Okay, 
Would you move your head off my dresses? Yes. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so i um, got too many things on this hanger. Gonna have to get rid of enough to not have too many things on my hanger. Yes. gonna be right here yes I think it's time to let it go similar yet incredibly different dresses but um love them both yes yes second fanciest dress I own this one is um, the dress I wore for my graduation from college yes 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 Maybe. Yes. Which one? Yes. Maybe. It's a really pretty color though. My absolute favorite dress ever. Yes. Yes. Maybe. Yes. Yes. So, I know I just kept a ton of dresses, but I am a teacher, and so I feel like it's nice to have um, something that looks professional and um, really easy to throw on. And also, like, keeps me cool enough while I'm standing outside at recess for like 30 some minutes in the hot cell. Um, that good old southern sun can really get to you in the fall and uh, late spring months. So, I keep a lot of dresses so that I have um, more than one thing to wear during, you know, those kind of times. And also because I do go to church and I do enjoy dressing up and um, wearing nice dresses to church. So, I feel like I need kind of a few different options and also all of those dresses range from you know winter to fall so yeah that was a lot of dresses but um that was my long-winded justification for it they're my clothes so i'm gonna keep them oh goodness okay i think this one is a keep and this one i've had for God, I really don't even want to think about it. I think I bought this in like 2007 or 2008. It's really cute, but I think it's time. I think it's time.
like it. I like the color. Maybe. Yes, for sure. I kinda look like sequins, but Tell me, why do I have so many of these kind of like kimono things? Why do I love all of these like kimono things? Whew. I may or may not have an issue. But I love them and I'm keeping them. I have more. I have more of these kimono things. Oh, all different, maybe. Yes. Okay, but see, I have this, and it has no sleeves, and it's very similar to the jacket that does have sleeves, and I just like this a little bit more, so this is a yes. I think the jacket might have to go, though. Ha. Huh. I love this, and it's warm, and I know it's weird, but I love this, so. Oh, more of the crochet. Uh, maybe. This one's definitely time to pass. This is one of the coolest thrift finds I've ever found in my life. It's this really cool, fully buttoned down, very 70s dress. And it has this like belt feature to it. And I just think it's amazing. Look at that pattern. So cool. I love this. This. Vests are so in this season. Ooh. Maybe. Yes. Let's see. Yes, I found pants. Yes, I found pants. Yes, those pants. Yes. 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 Alright, love all the pants on here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. What's up? Do you want to work out? Sure, give me a little bit because I'm trying to go through some of my clothes. How long? I don't know. This is what I'm working with. You're not looking. Trying to clean out my closet a bit. Oh, you have a lot of clothing. Yes. I do! <sighs> yes, but they need their own hangers. I think I'm gonna say goodbye to this one. I think it's time. Yes, yes. 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 Oh no! Well, so I'll have to come back in a second. Yes. Maybe. Yes. yes. Okay, so I actually moved my maybe pile to up here because it kind of became a lot and I kind of felt bad for putting it on the floor. So, maybe I think this needs to be. You know, I like the thought of owning a black blazer, but 
I have literally never worn this as long as I've had it. So again, um, being in the maybe. Yeah, actually I really like this. Actually, I think I should just go ahead and say bye to both of these. That's still maybe. Yeah, bye. 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 Uh, so maybe. Bye. Maybe still. I'm gonna have to put some of these things actually on my body before I really, really decide. Nice. It's so hard. I think that's gonna go. So maybe. This shirt just makes me happy. It has made me happy since I purchased it. It's just a cool Bye, bye. Bye. I almost always give this top away. Every single time I'm like, ooh, I don't know how much I love this shirt. But every single time I'm like, this sleeves are cute and this cutout is cute and it's a really soft and comfortable shirt. And every time I keep it, because it's hard to get rid of. Still maybe. Gonna have to be put on my body. This shirt is really cool, and it makes me feel really cool, but I hate wearing it. It gets caught on stuff, it irritates the hell out of me when I wear it, and yeah, I just, I think it's gotta be gone. If I just tell myself it has to go and then I never see it again, I miss it and I'm a little sad in like two years when I think about it, but I don't hurt for it because I have plenty of other clothes, so. Maybe. No. No. Maybe. Oh, you. Oh, maybe. No. No. So, um, now I should probably, um, Go through the maybe pile and decide what I actually like on my body and what I want to keep and what I do not want to keep. So that's what I'm going to do now. So here is my no pile after going through all the things, all the maybes, trying them on. This is what I decided that I don't need anymore. And here is the hangers left over that are no longer being used in my closet so that's fun so now that i got all of those clothes out of my closet i'm going to get all of the shoes that are on the floor especially the ones that fell down off of the rack that was right over there so i'll get those out
and here's what we got so far. It's definitely not perfect right now, but it's a lot more organized. And I am gonna go ahead and take the time. I want my clothes to be like color coordinated and kind of like in order of what it is, but I am just going to be packing them into bags. So I'm really doing this for future me. And as far as this shoe hanger goes, it's just gonna lay back right here for now because I don't wanna hang it back up on that rack and risk pulling the whole shelf out of the wall again and uh, destroying it before I move out of this place. So here's what we have right now. It is decent and I am pretty impressed with the amount of things I got rid of, which is this much stuff. I got rid of a whole lot of shoes and a lot of clothes and so I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself. Hey, so um, we're back for day two because cleaning out my closet for like two hours just really lost my interest and tired me out and I was like, you know, this can wait. So I've done my actual hanging clothes but I still have a lot of clothes left in a couple of other places in my house. So we're going to get to this dresser today, which as you can see, definitely needs cleaning out because this drawer doesn't even wanna go in all the way. So I'm gonna pull these out, put them over here on my bed, and we're gonna go through them. So let's see how that goes. As far as like workout wear, it's some um, sports bras, bras, leggings, stuff like that. So, I'm gonna go through that. Why are you looking at, quit looking at weirdo. So this drawer is all cleaned out. I have to find the other pad for that purple bar right there. I know I have it, it's just not up here. These leggings are amazing, and this pile right here it is what's going on. So, it's drawer. This drawer is tick tops of uh, assorted nature and um, excess leggings. So, I'm gonna see if I can really narrow down some of my leggings and get rid of a few of these tick tops. So...
All right, so in this drawer, I actually have like a little shoebox separator of my very basic like undershirt kind of tank tops that I would typically wear underneath something else. That way I'm not searching through all of my regular tank tops that like I actually care to be wearing on their own. And I just know we're there. So they're all just like solid colored tank tops. And yes, I realize that I have quite a few, but I have white, nude, gray, like light gray, dark gray, brown. And then I have a blue, pink, maroon, and then I have like silky black camisoles that are like almost more of the lingerie style. And it's popular, but you know, I could either wear those on their own or underneath other things. So these are my basics and I know where they are. Classic, basic, like undershirt kind of tank tops, workout tank tops, just anything tank tops, and my last couple leggings that didn't fit in my other drawer. I recently went through my jeans, so I'm just gonna go through again real quick and make sure these are bike shorts. Okay, so I have one more place that I keep my clothes and that is in a dresser in my spare bedroom that is usually where I film stuff. But right now it's where I'm keeping everything that I'm packing. So instead of like going and taking my camera in there and having no room to empty any of the drawers out, I'm going to bring the drawers from that dresser one by one into here. So let's go get my dresser. All right, so here is my dresser and um, it is chock full of clothes and here's a lot of clothes that I've already decided to be getting rid of and here's what I mean by this room is currently being used for trying to pack things up. So I'm going to start grabbing some dresser drawers. Okay, so this drawer is just my like, I guess what you'd call unisex t-shirts, um, comfy, big, boxy t-shirts. So, yes. All 
from uh, good old Racket City. Actually, I guess it's a Harley tank, but it's gonna be thrift flipped or whatever flipped. when you have three shirts that are almost the same color and you can't get rid of any of them. I have a problem. I acknowledge I have a problem. That's the first step, right? Right? Um, I, I really, I tried, but I don't think I can get rid of a single shirt that I have in here. Like, I'd say this one, but this is literally, this is my shirt meant for getting dirty. You're supposed to have at least one shirt just made to get dirty in, right? Right? And all of these are all like my college t-shirts that I collected. I'm like, so they're sentimental. Ah. This struggle is so real right now. Let's see, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, 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 so really all I did is decide that this shirt just needs to go in my long sleeve shirt drawer. That's it. And um, I took out a couple shirts to maybe DIY a little further. Almost done, two drawers left. This is my long sleeve drawer. So let's get through this fast. Final drawer. These are all of my shorts and um, related kind of bottoms. I share my mind with no censorship. Hang it all up to dry. The teardrops hanging from your upper lip. These are grandma pants to the max and I love them. They are very comfortable and I don't know, they are very me. I guess the plan is to wash everything that I want to get rid of and sort it out between do I want to sell it, donate it, or yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Sell it or donate it. So let's get to that. Okay, so this is all of the clothes I have decided to get rid of in some accord. And so now the plan is to go through these clothes and decide 
where I want them to be. Like, do I want to sell them or donate them to my local thrift store or put them in throw it out bags that I have. So that's what I'm going to do now. I have two different thread up bags that I had requested before kind of all of this went down. I have one that's returnable to sell things on thread up and one that's returnable as like a donation for, I think it was like Feed America or something like that, a charity that I chose any of the donations from this particular bag would go to that charity. just to the thread up or to my thrift store wherever and this right here is currently my pile to send thread up to sell so I don't even know if it'll all fit in the bag and I know I just said it needed to be washed first but you know I might have to just decide to donate some of it if it doesn't all fit in this bag and granted it's a pretty solid bag it's, it's real nice and big but I don't know so we're gonna see how much fits real quick. So this is now the pile of things to be donated and this bag actually holds a pretty hefty amount of clothes. So I got most of what I wanted to be in there. I'm excited about what's in there. And now all of this is just gonna go either to the Feed America or my Goodwill down the street. And then that's my pile of things to be on Poshmark. So now for the next step, take things to the washing machine. And now we wash. 